Hi guys, today we will see how we enable high availability using Insys replication server. Have you ever considered how multiple Insys servers seamlessly share and update their data with a centralized master server? Let's understand the key components and learn how to create your very own replication server. Before we dive into the specifics of setting up a replication server in Insys suite, let's first understand the fundamental concept of replication itself. In the context of data management, replication refers to a process of duplicating and synchronizing data from multiple Insys servers to a centralized master server. This replication system is defined to ensure that data across all nodes remain consistent, up-to-date and readily accessible. To prehend the replication system fully, we need to familiarize ourselves with its key components which is the master node and the child node. The master node serves as a primary hub for data consolidation, while the child node or simple nodes are the individual Insys servers that contributes data for a replication process. For example, let's see a use case. Suppose I have an oil and gas company named ABC Oil Company. I have two units, one in Karnataka and one in Hyderabad. My headquarters are located in Mumbai. Now, if I want to see my both the units data such as unique tags, history and views in headquarters, in that case, a replication concept will be more useful. Data processing, calculation and execution of calc agents occur locally within individual nodes in each server. This means that the data processing tasks performed in the replication node are not duplicated or not re-performed in the master node. Instead, only one result data is copied and synchronized. Furthermore, the data source queues which hold incoming data are local to each replication node and are not pushed to master. Only the result including tags are pushed and replicated to master node. As a cop, this approach ensures that the replication process remains efficient with only the necessary data being transmitted and synchronized between the node. Let us see how we configure master node and replication node with help of Insys. To configure replication server, we must check network and ping status between node and master. Firewall should be configured with all the privileges to access both servers. Now first we will configure node server. Open Insys admin, system explorer, expand settings and open global settings. Scroll down to high availability node. You find following options as enable replication which should be turned on. Then enable replication history which should also be turned on. If your master node has redundancy, you can enable it. By default, it will be disabled. Enter master name which can be IP. Below you have to give some node ID. For now, I have given as node underscore insys. Node prefix will be insys. Select replication mode as node as we are doing configuration in node server. Coming to configure Coming to configuration of master server, open Insys admin, system explorer, settings and global settings. Here you will find a security tab. There you have to enter node name in allowed, allowed nodes. Below in high availability node, you have to enable both the replication and replication history and select replication mode as master. Once you complete this configuration, Restart all the services on both the systems simultaneously. Now open master server, open system view in admin module and click on core. You will find master name and node ID and master connection status as connected or active. And we have last heartbeat by nodes last published objects by node, last published values by nodes, which denotes the communication between node and master, replication of objects such as tags from node server to master server and data fetch from node server to master respectively. Let's see how a tag gets replicated in master server with an example. 
I have opened node server and searched a tag called replication tag. We have two tags in node server. Similarly, I will show you these tags in master server. Now I have to duplicate it and enable in node server. Once I enable it, it will be auto replicated to master server. Not only in this object, now data is also synchronized between these servers. Hence, we have seen configuration for high availability of pinces. Thank you.